It's time to power up. Get it? Mushroom, you eat it. Power up. It's power ups. Smart boy. OB1 play. Yes, right. What's up? All right. OB1 play. It's been a minute since I pulled my grills back on. All right. We have some dope Nintendo Switch news items for this video. But you know already, you already know. Click that thumbs up, bro. I ain't say nothing else till you click the thumbs up. All right. Bruh. Earlier this week, I reported on the breaking news about the Switch. Um changing from Tegra to Volta architecture, but we've gotten the exact translation from that source. And so let's get, we have a little bit more detail to go over concerning that report. And we're going to talk about a Nintendo Direct. All right, first, this report is coming via a South Korean publication, client.net. And we have the translation from the text in full and this is what it says i quote apart from the new switch an improved process battery the rumor is that switch pro is scheduled for the fourth quarter and so apart from i do have version two switch bro this is my fifth switch fourth we're at one two three we got four switches in the house <laughs> i've given away a switch to a subscriber that's six five and I gave a Switch Lite to a sponsor. That's six. I bought six Switches, bro. But apart from the battery-powered, uh, improved battery pro um, Switch, which is this one, version two, the rumor is that the Switch Pro is coming fourth quarter. All right? So previous reports were saying mid-2020. Uh, mid this report is saying fourth quarter. I think that runs from... November or December holiday holiday all the way until I think like March or end of February end of February 2021 the latest the latest we're gonna talk about that <coughs> and it, the, uh, it continues the translation continues the difference with previous rumors is that Nintendo will not adopt an additional clocked up version of the Tegra X1 plus all right this is the exact translation. Nintendo's partner sources say that there are custom processors currently being developed in, co in collaboration with NVIDIA. But Taiwan's information says it's not yet time for mass production. All right. And so they're collaborating with NVIDIA to develop a custom processor for the Switch Pro and mass production has not begun yet previously it said mass production was beginning on uh, first quarter well the first quarter isn't over yet first quarter ends at the end of february so we still have one more month hopefully mass production can begin by february i'm still hoping for the switch pro coming out before the PlayStation. if nintendo's smart they need to come out before the PlayStation 5 and Xbox One. I'm just saying, there's no way you're going to get the same power in a portable factor. And, and so knowing that the Switch Pro may not be on the same power level as the PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, Nintendo needs to beat them to the punch launch date. Um, PlayStation 5 is already being rumored for an October release. That's earlier than November. So I say the Switch Pro come out in September. PS5, October, Xbox, November. Stagger that thing, bro. All right. All right. The, the, um, the exact quote, the translation continues. In other words, it may be difficult to release in the fourth quarter of this year 
And unlike rumors, 4K support or such a big performance industry should not be expected. <laughs> Continues. However, there are rumors that the GPU of a custom processor that is currently working together will be upgraded to Volta based on news from the US. And so the translation is a little off, but GPU based on uh, Volta. Um, Volta architecture. I was looking up Volta, and it's some creative stuff that you can do with Volta. The potential for power could be better than you think um, with this Volta um, um, system on a chip. And so, doesn't look like production is started yet on the Switch Pro, according to this translation. Um, and we may not get it until holiday later even as late as um first quarter uh the early 2021 which i'm hoping it comes out sooner rather than later nintendo i just want y'all to come out with the system before 2k21 drops on the switch bro i can't be playing at 30 frames per, per second all my life on 2k but we got some more news for this video bro it looks like we're going to be getting a PlayStation 5 reveal and two dates are what you need to mark on your calendar in February. One, February 5th has been floating around on Twitter. February 5th as well as February 29th. According to a new um, uh, report, post on Reddit. Is giving a strong indication that the PlayStation 5 announcement will be February 29th. Why? A Sony Hall in New York has been closed for a private event. Now, one or two things with this February 29th Sony Hall private event in New York. One, the February 5th could be the solid date. And February 29th could be a follow-up just private for press to get more hands-on, more detail on what's been revealed on the 5th. But one of those two dates, February 5th or the 29th, for a PlayStation 5 reveal date. Now, I know you saw Nintendo Direct in this video. Oh, how could Obi-Wan do this to us? I can't believe the monstrosity. He ain't just clinkbaited us, bro. I got you. What does this have to do with the Nintendo Direct? Based on Nintendo's pass, based on Nintendo's pass, I went and saw when did Nintendo have their direct last year? It was February 13th, 2019. February 13th is the middle of the month. After the 5th and before the 29th, the two dates for PlayStation 5. And so we're going to possibly get a Nintendo Direct <laughs> sandwich somewhere in between um, Sony's uh, potential PlayStation 5 reveal date. I'm still holding out for January 30th, bro. The earlier, the better, Nintendo. S leapfrog everybody. Leapfrog them with the Nintendo Direct. Leapfrog them with the release of your next-gen console. And so... Um, last year, it was mid-February for the Direct. February 16th has also been circulating as a possible date for a Nintendo Direct. But I'm hoping sooner rather than later. And so, things are heating up for 2020. What do you guys think a bit about the this translation of that article on the Switch Pro? The performance, they're saying again... That the performance of the Switch Pro um, isn't going to be a huge leap. Um, uh, that 4K or a big performance should not be expected. And I'm thinking Nintendo's going to target 1080p 60 frames per second as the standard for the Pro. Which would be perfect for me. I would, I'd be lit with that. Don't, wrong, don't get me wrong. I'd, 4K, I, I, I'd be lit. I'll, I'll be good with that. I got an Xbox One X. I play games in 4K. But 1080p, 60 frames per second, it's frame rates that matter to me the most, man. And so, 
What do you guys think about all of this news? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. Yeah, we got Mario dabbing in 2020. We're going back to 2016, boy. You're still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. We're having monthly giveaways. $60 eShop codes for your Nintendo Switch. You can choose any game of your choice. How do you enter? One, subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed to this fire. Two, make sure you're following me on Twitter at Obi One Plays, and that's it. You're in for our monthly giveaways. But that's not it. It gets even better. Do you want to game with your boy every day? Do you want to join our private Nintendo Switch Gaming Discord? Become a member. Three ways to join. One, through YouTube. There's a join button right below this video. It's two, through Twitch. Twitch Prime. You can do it for free or just subscribe through Twitch. And number three, the third way to join, patreon.com backslash Obi wan plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. See you later.